Well, now NASA scientists are in Jefferson County looking for the next generation of rocket scientists. Jamie Leary covers everything. Jeff Coforia joins us tonight with details, and this sounds pretty fun. All right, Jamie. It's incredible, Karen. It's called the Hunch Program, and it's been helping high schoolers solve real issues for NASA for about 13 years in Colorado. And this year, the projects the students are working on focus on the Artemis mission. Students from across Colorado and across the nation in the Hunch Program have been working since August, and today was a huge day for those Colorado students. NASA's in town for the design review. One of these projects could be going to the moon. From lunar regolith extruder, and it just comes out the other side. Solar sun trackers. This year, high schoolers in NASA's Hunch program are helping with Artemis, its mission back to the moon. These are not just fluff projects that we just come up with. Allie Westover is a biomedical engineer and works directly with NASA flight crews. She reviews hundreds of student projects every year. They're actually, you know, things that from our engineers, from our doctors, that they've said we need to have this resolved. And so we work with them, you know, to come up with these great design ideas. And Tuesday is design review day. We have an image of our CAD drawing. Allie and her team will select just five projects from across the nation to head to space. So our project is a butterfly parabolic collapsing mirror. While Wilson Moyer and Ronan Menina's prototype is among hundreds of projects. I feel like this year is my best work so far and just each year keeps getting better. Ronan's first year? Like cardboard and like a piece of paper wrapped around it and I called it like these grabbing tongs and it could it didn't do anything. This year they've figured out how to produce bricks from lunar soil for lunar habitats. And the goal is to make it collapsible so that it's really cheap to send into space. Even if they don't make the cut. They're really learning about engineering, the engineering process. Even these interview opportunities are great for building skills and it's I feel like I've grown a lot even in just this short period of time. And one middle school has joined the Colorado high schools this year. All I wanted to do was feature every one of these projects, but there are 85 of them this year across seven different schools. I'm told in March we can check back in. That's when they'll know if one of the projects was selected to go to the moon. Live in Jefferson County, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. So exciting, Jamie. I love it. Jamie not only covers all that is Jefferson County, she lives there and wants to hear about the stories impacting the communities all around her. So please reach out through our tip line, 303-863-TIPS, or through cbscolorado.com.